British Prime Minister Liz Truss is holding firm on her plans to lower taxes to fight inflation. That's right. Truss held her first cabinet meeting today and also faced her political rivals for the first time in the weekly Prime Minister's Questions session in the House of Commons. Truss was asked by the opposition leader how she plans to pay for an energy price freeze without implementing a windfall tax on wealthy corporations. I will be making an announcement to this House on that tomorrow and giving people certainty to make sure that they are able to get through this winter. For more, let's bring in former U.S. ambassador to the U.K. and author of The Power of Giving Away Power, Matthew Barzan. Uh, Mr. Ambassador, thanks very much for being with us. Uh, if Liz Truss isn't implementing a windfall tax on wealthy corporations to finance her energy plan, what other op options are out there are available to her? Well, first of all, thank you for having me on, and please call me Matthew. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, I mean, look, I don't know what she's going to announce tomorrow. Uh, if you look, I mean, I just arrived in London and talked to lots of smarter people on the subject than I am from both sides of the uh, political aisle, uh, as we say, back home in America. And, you know, borrowing um, is a big option. Um, it may not be something that uh, she wanted to talk a lot about in the run up to her election. But I think the UK is something like 100 uh, percent debt to GDP ratio. I don't know what the latest is back home in America, but more like 140. So there's room to go there, uh, which seems logical, because if you look at what she's confronting, um, we've seen in your pre-package all the stuff we're wrestling with at home in America. She's facing on the energy front alone, you know, a quadrupling is predicted by next spring of energy prices for the average British home. So that's not just a quarter of their disposable income, that's a quarter of their overall income taken up by this. And so, Matthew, give us a clearer picture of the challenges Trust faces uh, in implementing any kind of energy cost reduction plan? Well, I was talking with a, um, or listening to a uh, smart person who worked for a former prime minister, uh, Prime Minister Cameron, and she was making the point that typically in the British system, for you to be an effective um, uh, prime minister, you have one of four things going for you. Uh, one, you bring a big electoral mandate. She doesn't have that. 0.3% uh, of eligible voters voted for her. Two, you bring the backing of your fellow uh, members of parliament. She doesn't have that. She lost that election. Um, and then three, you might be the one that they look to who could energize and win the next election. Or four, you have this special and rare gift of being able to communicate complicated things in a compelling way to the electorate. So if those are the four ways um, that sounds reasonable to me as a observer of this wonderful country and its flavor of democracy. Um, she's going to have to work on one of those. Hmm. Well, let's turn to her cabinet. Uh, what is your take on some of her picks, uh, including history uh, making picks, as I understand it? And do you think this is a team that can actually get things done for the UK? You know, I got to work with so many wonderful uh, elected officials in the UK and, uh, and civil service members. So I don't, I'm not as well acquainted with this new group uh, as I was when I served over there. Um, the Conservatives, it's important to remember, so often we focus on, wow, there was Cameron and then Theresa May and then Boris Johnson and now Liz Truss for, um, so their focus is on lots of change. But what hasn't changed is the political party in charge. So they're going on 12, 13 years. Um, which is a long time on both sides of the Atlantic. Um, I think what's interesting thing, if you look at the stuff on the screen, um, I think this is the fourth chancellor of the Exchequer, so kind of like our Secretary of the Treasury, um, fourth consecutive one who's non-white, um, and Prime Minister Truss is the third uh, female prime minister of the country. So the Conservative Party has done both of those things on those two major positions. Um, and you see some new faces on the cabinet. I don't know. Well, I, they have lots of challenges, as we do back home in front of them. Challenges abound. All yes. right. Well, former U.S. ambassador to the U.K., Matthew Barzon, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate your insight. Thanks for having us.